Regardless of whether you know someone in the field, mining is one of the most important and potentially lucrative industries in the world today. After all, when you think about mining, you tend to picture men and women going deep into caves or digging well into the ground beneath their feet to get things like gold, diamonds, precious gems, and more. But the thing that sometimes gets lost in that hunt for treasure is that these people have to have some incredibly massive machines to help get the job done. And sometimes, the bigger the machine, the bigger they do at their job. So with that in mind, here now are the 20 biggest mining trucks in the world. Number 20. The Belaz 7571 We're going to begin this list with a very basic kind of machine that you'll find on virtually every kind of mining site in the world. The haul truck. You can also call it a dump truck because that's really another accurate description of what it does. No matter what kind of mining work that you're in, one of the most important and repetitive things that you'll do is move mounds of dirt, rock, or any kind of other earthy material from one place to the next. Haul trucks are vital in that regard because they're built to take on numerous tons of dirt and debris and then move it to another position on the site. In the case of the Belaz 7571, this is over 20 meters long, 9 meters wide, and 8 meters tall. That makes for a pretty big truck. Plus, the truck is also multi-purpose, but how so? Well, another reason they call it a hull truck is because of how it can be used to transport machinery. They just load it in the back and then off they go. Not to mention, even with the heavy loads that it carries, it can still go rather fast, so it can take the weight and just keep on going. And so, if you have a fleet of these vehicles on the mining site, things are going to get done at a fairly good clip. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Have a look at this massive machine. At first, your gut instinct might be to say, well, that's clearly fake. We don't make things that big. But are you really so sure about that? Yes, the scaling of the machine compared to the people on the ground is definitely enough to give someone vertigo, but that doesn't mean that it's fake. In fact, it does look very real, and I can definitely see someone making something like this, even if it's for a unique purpose. As noted in the intro, sometimes the bigger a machine, the better a job can get done. Based on what we see here though with this particular truck, it seems to be a kind of gas or liquid storage machine. So why is that important to note? Well, machines on a mining site all require fuel. So if this is for storing gas, you could literally fill the thing to the brim, drive it to the site, and you wouldn't have to worry about constant refills. In fact, Depending on how much gas this could hold, as we don't exactly know the numbers, this could seriously help to limit things like gas runs, which could cost people time and money. Plus, what happens if the gas vehicles can't get to you one week because of weather or perhaps some other kind of issue? By having something like this, you wouldn't need to worry about such a thing. Yes, not every mining site would be able to have such a vehicle, but to the ones that could, it might just be a cost-saving machine which is another very important thing to have in the business. But we can all admit that driving this thing would be a pain in the ass. As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag FancyTopic and let me know what you think about what you just saw on the screen. Number 19. The Caterpillar 797F Caterpillar is a brand that you're going to see quite often on this list for one basic reason. They make really good construction equipment and mining equipment. And the Caterpillar 797F is another in the hauling truck line, so you know what it does more or less. The reason that this one is on the list is because it claims to be the lowest cost per ton in its size class, or in other words, it's a very efficient truck that's going to help miners to get the job done. Again, when it comes to mining sites, the more money that you can save, the better. And that helps your profit margins, and everyone wants a better profit margin because it benefits them in the long run. According to the site that sells this truck, it's so efficient 
that it'll take 20% off of the operating costs, meaning that it doesn't take long to fix when it breaks down, and 10% of the fuel costs, which is always a big deal, as noted in the fancy topic. And so, with it costing less to operate, less fuel to run it, and so on, that means that you'll be able to get the most bang for your buck with the Caterpillar 797F. And that also means a smoother running mine that gets the job done over and over again. So yeah, the thing is pretty huge, and being able to haul 400 tons of stuff will make it so that you have to be big. Number 18. Caterpillar 797B I'm now talking about the Caterpillar 797B. And while it's not as big as the F model, it's still a very competent hauling truck as it can hold 360 tons of stuff. But that's where a small twist comes into play. You see, the Caterpillar 797B is branded as an off-highway truck, which is an odd way to describe something. But you know, who are we to judge? We called this a twist because it's not something that you'll specifically have to use for a mining site. In fact, you can have it on any construction job and it will do whatever jobs needed very well. You can even look at the design of the 797B, and you'll notice that there are slight variances when compared to the ones I've already talked about. And that's pretty good, because these vehicles should absolutely be ones that have a kind of versatility and style to them so that they can help people no matter their mining project or mining budget. Sometimes you can't get the biggest and the best, and that's just how it goes. Number 17. The Komatsu 980E4 Here's another brand you'll see quite often on this list. Komatsu is a brand from Japan, and they've been very keen over the years on making their own construction vehicles that can match up against anything that's made in the United States or really anywhere else. And the Komatsu 980E4 is an excellent example of how dedicated they are to making a great vehicle. This haul truck can carry 363 metric tons of weight and features 3,500 horsepower to throw around whenever it needs to. And plus, Komatsu goes even farther than you would think when it comes to designing each version of the 980E4 for the mining site. Specifically, they'll ask the mine's owner what kind of materials they're hauling around and will line the interior of the hauling part so that they can get the most bang for their buck without having to worry about damage or material spilling out over time. When you combine that with all the other features that makes it a powerful and reliable hauling truck, such as a tight turn radius and sensors to help monitor the carrying capacity, you can see why many would take the chance on the Komatsu brand. Number 16. The Liebherr T-284 Now we'll head over to Germany, where they have a good reputation when it comes to making incredibly competent and powerful mining vehicles. This time, we're talking about the Liebherr T-284. Like many other vehicles on the list, the T-284 boasts some impressive features, but one thing that's easily the most interesting is that it talks about how it's the lightest ultra-class mining truck while also having the biggest payload possible. Now that may sound like a contradiction, and sometimes you do need that extra weight to make things go, but clearly this one was able to make things work for it. It also helps that the truck has about 4,000 horsepower to help it move, so that can get the job done. And that power helps it to go 64 kilometers per hour, which is one of the reasons that you'll only need a few of these on your mining site in order to complete your task. It just goes to show you that having a lot of options can be a really good thing. Number 15. The Terex MT6300AC Have you ever noticed that some of these vehicles don't only have names, but really long numbers and letter sequences that follow them? I'm sure that they mean something, but when you look at the Terex MT 6300 AC, you just have to wonder if they were adding on the extra stuff to make themselves sound a whole lot more cool. It wouldn't be the first time that that kind of thing has happened, you know? Talking about the machine itself, it's a powerful hauling truck that can hold about 363 metric tons of weight and has a rather powerful diesel engine to ensure that it gets the job done. 
One thing that we haven't talked about with other vehicles yet is the cabin where the driver sits. That's easily one of the most important parts of the ride because you need your operator to be able to wheel the truck easily while also being comfortable because their job can kind of get boring. The Terex MT6300AC boasts a state-of-the-art cabin for the driver as well as numerous safety features in order to keep them and the truck okay should an accident take place. And as anyone on a mining site or a construction site would tell you, sometimes accidents can happen out of nowhere, so the features are definitely welcome. Number 14. The Liebherr 282C This is a machine that's actually not in production anymore, and usually that would be a bad sign as vehicles like these are often being cranked out, but not exactly in this case. You see, the Liebherr T282C was apparently so good at its job and so very long-lasting that they didn't need to keep making them because they're already on mining sites all over the world. So, you could probably find one that you needed from someone else if you looked hard enough. That's a true seal of approval right there, that they're selling out so much that they don't need to make any more. And yes, they did make an improved version, but this one can still carry over 360 metric tons of stuff, and as noted before, it can last a really long time. So, when you put all of that together, you get something rather special. Number 13. The Terex MT5500AC Here, we have a massive hauling truck that is used for high-volume surface mining. But what does that mean? In most mining sites, especially ones that dig into the earth via the ground itself and not really caves, there's something called overburden which can block them from their goal. More specifically, it's a kind of dirt and rock that's formed over time and covers the pay layer that most miners, which includes gold miners, are looking for. Now, depending on the area, the overburden layer can be anywhere from a meter deep to several meters deep, which means that the miners will have to work long and hard to get down to the pay layer, and so they need haul trucks like this one to help carry away load after load of useless dirt. For all of you environmentalists out there, don't worry. Most nations, including the United States, have reclamation laws where the miners have to rebuild the land so that things can grow on them once they're done mining the area. And yes, they use these trucks to put back the ground so that things can return to their natural state. You see, mining may be a very complicated thing, but you could say that it has many layers. Number 12. The Balaz 75601 Would you like to take a guess at where this model of truck comes from? It's not Arizona. If you said Belarus, well, you'd be correct, because that is indeed where it was made. And the first of its construction that I'll talk about is the Belaz 75601. They have a unique way of describing their hauling trucks, saying that they are for transportation of loosened rocks on technological haul roads at open pit mining sites worldwide under different climactic conditions. Or, in other words, they can be used on all sorts of mining sites under various conditions, which is great, because that's exactly what you need from a rock and hauling truck, you know? Plus, mining does take place all over the world, from the frigid, cold-ridden areas of Alaska and the Canadian Yukon, to the humidity and rain-drenched areas of South America, to even the blistering heat of Australia. And so, if this thing boasts that it can survive and withstand all climates, and then some, well then that means that many will give the truck a chance, especially since it can haul 360 metric tons of stuff. And no matter where you are in the world, for your mining, you absolutely need to have a lot of dirt moved. Number 11. The Terex 3319 Titan When you think of the word Titan, you may likely think about Greek mythology or where people use it to describe something of great power and size and importance. You know, things that are really big. So if the Terex 3319 Titan is using that name, it must be a really powerful and big hauling truck. Well, yes, it is, but there is a little bit of nuance to that. Built by General Motors of Canada when heavy equipment manufacturer Terex was a GM subsidiary, 
The 3319 Titan was a one-off prototype made on a scale that simply dwarfed all previous trucks. And over 45 years later, it is still the biggest truck of its kind. As you can see in these pictures and videos of the truck, calling it big doesn't just do it justice. The thing is absolutely massive. At its peak, it could haul 360 tons, which goes to show you that just how far technology has come in the last few decades, we don't need a truck this big to move all that much dirt. It would be used on a mining site for the record and was in service from 1974 to 1991, so it did have some really decent legs to it, but it did have its flaws, which included needing to be disassembled and put on a train to get from one place to the next. You can now find this monster machine on display and it looks really freaking huge up close, exactly like it should. Number 10. The Komatsu 960E2 Returning to more modern times, we'll now talk about the Komatsu 960E2 and the main features that it offers to those who use it. How far that we've come in the mining industry, it should not be that much of a surprise that rides like these feature a plethora of things to help them stand out from the crowd and to get the job done. Yes, 360 metric tons of carrying capacity is nice, but that won't be the only thing to get the job done when the time comes to do the work. For example, the Komatsu 960E2 would be designed to endure high stress on many of its more worn down areas, so they put in special casings to ensure that that'll keep it going no matter how many times you use it. They also have a special kind of brake system that'll help slow the machine on a dime while also helping it to make tight turns. The truck will even help stop itself if it needs to, and that's some kind of service. Aside from all of this, the vehicle can help prevent itself from sliding down a hill if you're at a high incline. Sometimes it's simply the small things that can get the job done, and that's why these trucks are usually outfitted with a whole bunch of them. Number 9. The Hitachi EH5000AC3 The Hitachi EH5000AC3 is another Japanese-made haul truck that can handle many different mining ventures. That all being said, it does have a smaller carrying capacity than the last several that I've talked about, as it can only load about 326 metric tons. But that doesn't mean that it's a bad haul truck. No, no, far from it. In fact, Hitachi has used parts that have been used for their bullet trains to help propel this truck faster than you may think. Those same parts also help it to break from those nice speeds that it has. So while it may lack in some areas, it more than makes up for it in others. Number 8. Komatsu 930E4 The Komatsu 930E4 is another haul truck with a lesser payload, a trend that you'll see as we continue to go on. But there's another twist with all of that. The 930E was the first two-axle, six-tire haul truck to be offered with a payload capacity in excess of 300 metric tons. It would be unveiled in 1995, which shows just how durable and useful that these things have been since you can still find them today. Plus, it was the first truck of its kind to employ a special AC powertrain to make things run smoother and be more efficient. Now that's something that cannot be ignored. At this point, you may think that all of these haul trucks are the same outside of their size and a few components, but while this is a classic vehicle that doesn't age the same as other rides, they've had to upgrade their potential over the years to ensure that things were more efficient, cost-effective, and so on. Number 7. The Terex 3315 Titan before you go and do a double take, you should note that this is a different Titan than I showed you before. It was the predecessor to one from earlier, but it's still a great machine nonetheless. The Terex 3315 Titan was shown to the world in 1971, and it was an absolute beast when it came out for everyone to see. Ironically, it was not made at a truck factory, but a locomotive factory, which is kind of cool. They used that because they were essentially using their tradecraft to make the locomotive of trucks that could haul incredible loads while also being powered by a robust diesel engine. 
Back in those days, diesel was everything when it came to the world of big movers. Now obviously, this truck did not last forever, and in 2022, a major reconstruction project went on with the last surviving member of this line of trucks. Like I said before, it's important to advance things in order to keep them moving forward. But you also have to experiment at times to see what you can create. And this Titan would definitely be worth the adventure. Number 6. The Caterpillar 793D Now, what if I told you that the Caterpillar 793D could only carry about 236 metric tons of dirt? What exactly would that end up signaling to you? Well, if you said, well, it must be smaller or older, well, you'd be correct. But in fact, the truck is over three decades old. That doesn't mean that it can't get the job done, though, because it absolutely can. In fact, the Caterpillar 793D was revered as a workhorse due to how much that it could carry, offload, and so on without having a whole lot of issues. Caterpillar even notes that it used this one as a base plate for all future models because they wanted something that would keep on going no matter what. Plus, it also came in multiple configurations, making it a versatile truck to have, no matter what the mining site that you were working on. So yeah, it may be old, but sometimes vintage can beat out all of the modern stuff. Number 5. The Caterpillar 789D Now at first, moving 181 metric tons of stuff may not seem all that impressive when compared to all the other trucks I've shown you so far, but with the Caterpillar 789D, context is the key. First, yes, this is yet another hauling truck that's been used for many years, but even back then it was something special due to how it would move the most dirt for its class while not costing a whole lot of money. And like many future models, it could be adjusted to handle the tough roads, high altitudes, rough temperatures, and more. Another thing to think about here is that not all mining sites are huge. Sometimes you only need a smaller truck like this because it's all that's required of anything having to do with it. Not everyone has millions of tons of dirt to move around and get their pay streak. So, for its time, and the technology that was available, this was a top-of-the-line hauling truck, and it's still one that's of high value today, even if some don't realize it. Number 4. The XDE-130 You can very easily tell that the XDE-130 is not meant to be something that everyone in the mining trade uses because of its size. It's very compact compared to the much longer haul trucks that we've unveiled, and to that end, it can only carry around 120 metric tons of weight. As noted, that's not always a bad thing, as the mining site may only need something that can do that kind of work. Plus, it also has a lot of other features that will help it to stand out. For example, it carries an imported genuine electronic controlled diesel engine, single stage turbocharging, which is fuel economic and also powerful. It also has an engine monitoring system that can continuously detect cylinders working conditions and that can help to prolong engine service life while reducing the cost of use. So once again, we have an example of a truck that has a specific job, does it quite well, and is designed to be long-lasting, which can be a godsend on a mining site. Number 3. The Komatsu 730E Now, as we get smaller and smaller with these hauling trucks, I do hope that you're getting an appreciation for how wide-ranging of a truck that it can be, and how versatile they can be depending on the mining site. The Komatsu 730E is a rather small truck in comparison to the others, and it can only haul 86 metric tons of dirt. So yeah, it carries a fraction of what the other trucks on this list can do, but still serves quite the purpose. Plus, you also have to consider that not every mining site out there is going to be able to have one of the more bigger and infinitely more expensive hauling trucks that can do up to two to three times the work. So for the smaller construction or mining jobs that are out there, it might exactly be what they need, and that's okay. Number 2. 
the XCMG XDR ADTE. Now it's time to talk about how this is the first fully electric haul truck of its kind. You probably didn't see that coming. As you hopefully know, the world is slowly shifting to a more electric-based vehicle system. We're seeing it in cars, semi-trucks, and now it's entered into the world of mining vehicles. Granted, carrying around 80 tons of dirt is not all that impressive in the overall, but it could be considered the first step towards bigger and better things. Mining vehicles can have a big carbon footprint, so if we were to turn them all electric, well yeah, that could be something worth praising. You may just want to be on the lookout for things like this down the road with other brands. Number 1. The Balaz 7555 Now at this point, is there really anything else that could be said about these hauling trucks that you really don't know already? The Balaz 7555 is the final and smallest hauling truck, and it can carry about 55 metric tons of loosened dirt and rocks. Now, hopefully, you'll be able to appreciate the importance of this kind of vehicle, because it is a vital part of the mining operation overall. If you've ever seen the show Gold Rush on the Discovery Channel, you may know that haul truck failures can be one of those things that can shut a mining site completely down, and that's why they have to have spares or the mechanics on hand that can repair them in a hurry. Because whether they're big or whether they're small, with their loading capacity, no mining site can run without one. Well, that's all from the realm of big mining machines and just how huge they are and why that helps them to get the job done. Were you amazed by how many massive mining machines there are in the world? And do you think that you've seen some of these machines up close? Perhaps you know of another mining machine that could have ended up on this list. Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.